Hello everybody, I am Bratman19 and we're playing some more Supreme Lord Ultimate. This is episode 20 of our Ottoman Empire Reborn campaign and we just took over Greece, which was uh, not difficult, it just, you know, it, we had a little kick up when we finished up the war. I'm going to have to make sure everybody's repaired up and then uh, we're going to try to let our time kind of slip by just a little bit so that we can uh, get ready for our next phase, which is going to be... Uh, Making a run at uh, Kurdistan and Lebanon. That's going to add how many people again? Four million there, another two million. So we're looking about six to seven million people. Not a whole lot in the grand scheme of things, but it's uh, nothing to shake a stick at, I guess. Uh, let's see here. Beirut. Yeah, that's all fine. Damascus. GPS missile designs. Oh, that's cool. Uh, did that add more missiles to my... Yes, it did. Need to keep those going. Missile designs are great. And the Eurofighter Typhoon got added. All good stuff. I'm kind of looking at the proposed empire. I, I kind of hate how it's not very big over here, but it's much bigger over here. So I, I just found that pretty cool. All right, Tunisia, Algeria, and Morocco. That's about as far as I'm going to go. I'm going to get to Morocco, and then I'm going to call it there when we do get there. Um, in the meantime, though, we do have this entire uh, Arabian Peninsula, too, to get through. And we need to make it down to Djibouti, so... I don't really think that the Ottomans had a real presence in Somalia or Ethiopia to really control it. Nor do they really have it down here where South Sudan is, so they kind of have just the coast in some spots. Um, yeah, The Egyptian Suez Canal, what are we getting from that? Just an embassy? We'll have to go to war with them too when we go to war with Egypt. I want it. Of course, it's gonna when we go to war with Egypt, we're gonna have a <laughs> pretty hard time. They're gonna they're gonna try to crash into us here. We gotta have a lot of depth to kinda catch them. Alright, what's going on there? That's fine. Upgraded rail system. That's not a bad I thing to have, I guess. Um One of those rail things actually forced me to Increase my how much I'm spending. Oh, yeah, that was actually it. It went my increase my infrastructure rating would go up by like 5%, but I'd have to pay more, five more. And then high speed rail infrastructure would kick in, and it would be five more on top of that original five, and then it would make my cost go back to what it was just before it. No big deal there. It's just, you know, it, it's gonna be a tit for tat. Naval nuclear reactors. Okay. Some good stuff in there. Oh, uh, look at it. Kind of mad. Where's the, uh... Where's the FA-1 Banshee, but... Where's the Eurofighter? Oh, there he is. Way down here, he requires advanced combat aircraft. Which is... where? Not being worked on, I guess. I don't even see where it's at on the list. Up oh, there it is. Okay, it's the next thing that'll come up. It's got a hundred. It's 160 days for that one. All right. Let's see. Looking at annual figures right now. Yeah, go back to daily. So much easier to keep an eye out on things in the daily mode. How much are we taxing? Uh, tax rate of 60% is the overall. Not bad. I'd rather we did like 90 for a while just so I could uh, knock down some of these loans. Which have been just plaguing me this entire time. 
All right, I think it's better off to go after Lebanon first. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of my guys knocked up a little bit here. Let them come out ready, and we'll just go ahead and declare this. There it goes. Let's see. Are they going to move on us? Yep, there they go. We need reinforcements. Looks like there's some border war here. They've taken part of Damascus. That's not cool. They've taken all of Damascus. It's all right. We're going to push in behind them. Or we'll have plenty of guys just overrun them. Okay, looks like we're doing just fine. There we go, Damascus is back. Come on, let's run into him. Terabolus, of course, has got to fall. Let's go, there you go. We've touched the Mediterranean up here. Terabolus has fallen. Now we're focusing on Sida and Beirut. Looks like we've almost got the Beirut military facility. Yes, we do. Going after Beirut itself. And there it is, just like that. Quick little war. Didn't even take us really a bit like a minute to get done. Um, let's go ahead and take all these guys down so we can get the preparedness lowered again. Repair. All right, uh, we'll take all these guys right here. All right. That's fine, 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 fine. Um, what's this? Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of you. Okay, Damascus has got to get fixed up on its own. Um, get that one scrapped. We'll get this one scrapped. Okay, I think we've... Yeah, that's all we had to do for them. So we'll wait it out just a little bit. Uh, so we can get... Uh, Kurdistan, shortly. Region falls, of course it did. All right. We're at 65%. And we're ticking okay. I think we're doing all right here. Went down to 62%. And our money is going up. At least it was. Let's see if it's going to do it again. Yep. All right. I think our money is going up fine. Unit production is delayed, that's no big deal. Facility construction, that's no big deal. Research, upgraded petrol generation. So there goes even more power for us. Let's check it out, 859 of 921. I don't think there's anything else other than my, uh... Where'd it go? What? It moved other things in its place? Or maybe those were being worked on here in Damascus? I don't know. I think that's what happened. There we go. I just put all those other things on pause for a second. There we go. Improved. Going at it again. Okay. get all these things moved back into production when they're ready. There it goes. Yeah, but that power grid's more important. Okay, that power grid's actually very far ahead. 707 of set into 70, 722, so about two years, and it's done. Metal ore, oh, that's a good deal for us. Um, we're gonna wait another minute, then we'll pull this off here on Kurdistan. It's not gonna take long at all to beat them. Run over their oil. That's all they really have is oil. They do have a power station up here. That's it, really it. They don't have much. I guess when uh, they were fighting off against, uh, who was it, Iran? Yeah, they were fighting Iran. They didn't really get a whole lot of good stuff out of it. Or they didn't really do very well. Well, we did pretty good one in that, so. 
Let's get ready. I think we're getting just about ready. We'll go ahead and declare this. I'll push my men like so. We took their capital. There's their capital. We need reinforcements. There it goes. Falling in there. We'll go ahead and take all this. Go ahead and take herbal. Like I'm just following him around. Okay, take this little facility. Move up here. Yep, that's all we need to do. And there it goes. Take all these guys right here. Repair. Everything's fine. Research breakthrough. Yep, all right, nice. Another two million people added. And now we just kind of make sure these guys get all nice and repaired up because their next war will be probably in the next episode against Jordan and Kuwait. I'm actually expecting a good fight from Kuwait. Jordan, not so much. I've kind of got them ready to be surrounded. Even though there are no garrisons populated anywhere. Yeah, once you take over this little piece of Jordan, it's done. Just like Kuwait, though. Kuwait's all together. It's tight packed, but down here, you grab that, and once their oil's gone, there, there's nothing to them. Yep, there's oil. Derek's down there. What is that? Uh, imp improved radars three. I mean, look at this. Military. This is radar station. Okay. Thought there might be something cooler come out of that, but I guess not. Uh, technology. Clean coal industrial. Coal production. Okay, it goes down. That's not good. Oh, that's some technology. Never mind. Uh, society's got advanced recycling facilities, construction materials up to negative five percent finished goods or demand. We'll add it. That's a good thing to have. Um, transportation. Yeah, none of that stuff's needed right now. Let's see. I feel like knocking out some of these things in here is a good idea. There's not a whole lot of stuff in it. So let's go ahead and add that to there since we've got our big stuff getting done already. Alright, go ahead and add these four. Oh, there's that Kentosaurus right here. It's a West European tank. Not really that great. Why the Greeks uh, hedge their bets on that, I have no idea. Okay, knocking all this out too. 110 things to get done, but it probably won't take very long at all to get them done. Considering like conscripts take 20 days. The 1.5 takes 30. Yeah, most things take less than like 100 days to get done, so we could probably knock through most of it pretty quickly. All right. Um, yep, there we go with that. Gonna let some research get done right now. I wish I could downplay something. I wish I could be like, hey, let's take this all the way down to nothing for a while and just let it sit. Yeah, military salaries can't do that on. Ah, uh, that's fine. Let's go ahead and just reserve everybody on our own. 
There we go. Lots of reserve, over 300,000 reserve personnel. 1.1 million active duty. Okay, those guys really haven't moved up anywhere there. IF Ren has seven days, conscripts have eight. Extra vehicular has 12. What does that move on to? Man on the moon. Yeah, we'll add that. Just to go ahead and get that space race done. So we look at it once we get space race. Oh, this is race for the bomb. Nuclear weapons production and nuclear weapons research. I think I had nuclear weapons. Yeah, I do have nuclear weapons. Let's do this right here. <laughs> I'm just like adding all these. There we go. Just do it. Just to run it through. It'll take its course. Unit designs. Okay, that's fine. Let's see what else is there. Now that I got that being worked on, space race will get us man to the man on the moon once this is done. The internet race, high bandwidth infrastructure I think I'm working on. And I guess after that, we'll be kind of focusing on this, like, man on the Mars tech. Year 2059. Wow. Let me go ahead and add that stuff. The Ark, 2075. That added probably quite a bit of tech that we're nowhere near ready for. But at least something will be trying to work on that. Even though I might not be able to. We're gonna try to beat we're gonna try to beat NASA to Mars. <laughs> Don't know if that'll work. Okay, we did get the extra vehicular, so we're very close to the space stuff. Uh everything up here looks quiet. France is just moving some units around. I think they just continuously move guys around. There's Denmark. Who's all the way out here? UK. UK and Spain. France. Who's all the way out here? It's like Dominican Republic and Colombia. Yeah, that was Colombia. I wanted to make sure. Back on Senegal. You got guys way too far out for being a patrol boat. I think that's Egypt. Yeah, that was the Netherlands. This is UAE or Kuwait. I can't tell. Yeah, that's the UAE. Okay. Could have been Sudan, but um, yeah, that's UAE. Ku uh, Sudan. Uh, Sudan has the little sideways triangle. These guys are just fine around Damascus. There's Beirut. I'm kind of proud of this right now. Pretty good size. 300 million people, or 300 plus million right now. 391 million. Not bad. We add these guys here and we'll, re we'll breach 400 million. Be one of the largest states out there. Outside of South Korea. Shouldn't they just call it Korea now? They're not South anymore. Because they even own that. One billion people. 1.18. They're at 263 and the U.S. is at 393. U.S. is just barely ahead of us. Like 2 million people ahead. Let's see, advanced cruise missiles, military, yeah, that's fine. What did you all attack? Oh no, you did grab uh, Cuba. Yep, you followed Hillary Clinton and decided to invade Cuba. And you didn't even set things to start, like, fixing themselves and all that down there. You just left it be. That's one thing I don't like about that. 
Let's see, reconnaissance, we can start doing that now, I believe. Uh, where is that little piece? There it is. Oh no, we can't build it. Oh no, we can't, there we go. I want 10. This is at 99%, I'm pretty sure we've got it. Unit designs, not bad. Got some more missiles done. Working on another missile, four days. A howitzer, take four days. The Embraer then will take 32 days. Yeah, we're gonna get some good stuff done. And in short order too. Let's see here. Like I'm missing some stuff. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, I felt like I was missing some in here. Uh, like maybe there wasn't all fifteen research working. So I just wanted to double count it. But uh, all right, guys, I think I'm going to end this one right here. Next time we'll go after Jordan and Kuwait just to knock them both out. So yeah, all right, guys, appreciate you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.